Good day everyone. Today I want to introduce to you a new case, data case. When we speak about a person towards whom the action is directed, we use data case. And the question word for this is komu, komu, which literally means to whom, to whom. For example, komu ty daješ knihu. To whom are you giving a book? Or whom are you giving a book to? Komu ty daješ knihu. The noun in this case will be changed in the end. There are two types of endings here. First is u, the simplest one, u. And the second one is ovi or evi. It depends on the type of the word it you will use. Whether it will be a one syllable word, two syllable word, and depending on the ending vowels, uh, that will be used in the word. So, and because of this, I will describe only masculine nouns in this lesson. First, let's have a look at the short words, one syllable words. For example, brat, meaning brother, brat. So, uh, the ending in the dative case uh, will be u. That's the simple ending. And so, brat, and to whom are we giving the book? Bratu. Ja daju knihu bratu. I give a book to a brother. Ja daju knihu bratu. Also, there is an alternative ending, which is ovi in this case. Ovi. So, Ja daju knihu bratovi. I give a book to a brother. Ja daju knihu bratovi. Let's have a look at another word. Druh, meaning a friend. Druh. Ja daju knihu druhovi. I give a book to a friend. Ja daju knihu druhovi. And now, simple ending, u. Ja daju knihu druhu. I give a book to a friend. Ja daju knihu druhu. So, as you see here in one syllable words, especially when in the syllable there are uh, vowels like a or u, the ending will be u in the simple ending, and if you use more complicated ending, will be an ovi, ovi. Also, this type of ending is used with the two-syllable words, especially with the own names, own male names. So, uh, more popular name in Ukraine is uh, Ivan, Ivan, so. Ja daju knihu Ivanovi. I give a book to Ivan. Ja daju knihu Ivanovi. Or, if you use the simple ending, is Ja daju knihu Ivanu. I give a book to Ivan. Ja daju knihu Ivanu. Now, another word. Stepan. Also a name of a man in Ukraine. Stepan. Ja daju knihu Stepanovi. I give a book to Stepan. Ja daju knihu Stepanovi. Another word. Another ending. Ja daju knihu Stepanu. I give a book to Stepan. Ja daju knihu Stepanu. Another male name. Taras. Taras. I give a book to Taras. Ja daju knihu Tarasu. That's the simple ending. Ja daju knihu Tarasu. Now, more complicated ending. 
я даю книгу Тарасові. I give a book to Taras. Я даю книгу Тарасові. As you see in the about two group of words, the ending is simple one. У. And the complicated one, ОВІ. ОВІ. That's how the noun is changed in the data case in Ukrainian. Now let's see another group of words, uh, the ending of which in the data case is a little bit different. When a word has more than two syllables and it's not a name of a person, it may have ending У or Ю when it's a simple ending in the data case or ЕВІ when it's a complicated ending. So, when we use ending U, when a word that has more than two syllables has, in the end, the soft sign. For example, let's use our phrase, I give a book to somebody. In this case, it will be a teacher. Учитель. Teacher. Учитель. So, I give a book to a teacher. Я даю книгу учителю. So, учитель, when it's a nominative case. And учителю, when it's a dative case. So, as you see here, when in the nominative case there is a soft sign in the end, in the dative case, this word will have the ending U. Учитель, учителю. And uh, when it's a complicated ending, you may uh, add up every ending. So, let's see. And also uh, eliminate the soft sign. Let's see. Я даю книгу учителеві. Я даю книгу учителеві. I give a book to a teacher. Now, uh, let's see another words. Учень, meaning pupil. Учень. I give a book to a pupil. Я даю книгу учню. Я даю книгу учню. Nominative case. Учень, soft sign in the end. And dative case, учню, letter U in the end. Soft sign is eliminated. And complicated ending. Я даю книгу учневі. I give a book to a pupil. Я даю книгу учневі. Try to use these words with another masculine nouns. Next time I will try to introduce another genders and plural. And if you have any questions, comments or doubts, feel free to comment or write me.